Hi everyone, my name is Juhi. Writing passes is a great way to learn and collaborate with the networking community. So in this video, I will talk about how to write, debug, test, and finally submit our passer to Cisco. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to write a parser for show VRRP command for Cisco IOS XE router. I'd like to extend my gratitude to the Pi ATS team, Takashi, and Gary Woodford for their invaluable support. It would not have been possible for me to write and submit my parser without their help. I've also put a link to some great resources that have helped me immensely in my journey. Before you start, be sure to check if there is an existing parser for your requirement. You can check the list of available parsers on this link and also on this GitHub site. Then, we need to fork off the Genie Parser repository of the master branch. This will create a copy of the Genie Parser folder in your local GitHub account. We then need to clone this repository onto your local machine. Then, we need to follow these steps to activate the virtual environment. Change into the Genie Parser folder to install dependencies and packages to build a new parser. Then we need to go back to our SDK folder and create two files as shown on the slide. This file will help us test the show VRRP parser that we are going to write against a sample output. This text file contains the sample output. Now that we've done all the preparation, let's begin writing a parser to show VRRP command. We need to browse to the iOS XE parser folder and create a new file called show underscore VRRP.py. We begin writing our script by importing the schema and parser classes. We then define our output schema, which is a blueprint of how our parse data is going to look like. It also helps us define the data types for various fields like string, float, integer, or boolean. In this block of code, we run the show VRRP command and save the output in a variable called out. We also create an empty dictionary called result underscore date, which will contain the final result. We then start defining regular expressions for all the lines in the output. This is a great link for building and testing your regular expressions. If you want to define some extra keys in your output to make the output look more meaningful and easy to follow, you can do so by creating nested dictionaries like I've shown on the slide. This is an example of how to create nested dictionaries for your output. We repeat the process for all the lines in our output. As you can see, I've created another nested dictionary in my output for better readability. Here is an example on how to create a nested dictionary we saw in the previous slide. Importing Python debug library is a great way to test and troubleshoot your code. The parser will loop over each line of output data, look for patterns in the output, and add any matching pattern to the result underscore dict dictionary. Before we go ahead and submit our parser, we need to make sure it is tested against multiple outputs simulating different device configurations. The folder and files follow a common theme as shown on the slide.
Cisco prefer to see the output which is properly indented and easy to follow. CodeBeautify.org is a great site to format your output. As you can see, I've tested my parser against two outputs and I've documented this information for Cisco to review. Once testing is out of the way, we need to define a change log. This file contains information on command and the device iOS type. Make sure to create this file under the undistributed folder. And finally, we need to test our output by invoking the unit test Python module. Once we are ready to submit the parser, we need to browse to the correct folder on our local GitHub account. Then, we need to upload all the files, including the test files that we wrote previously to test our code. Once all the files have been uploaded successfully, we should be OK to open a pull request. It's a good practice to add comments while committing your changes. I hope you found this video insightful. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Thank you.